guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Software Inc. Alpha 9. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because the staff here at Nerdresoft are having an interesting time. They're currently working on Nbox OS, which is the first console operating system from the company. We're also working on Wave 3, which is in project management at the moment, which means it's an automated process. They will then work on Wave 4 and beyond. And we are currently marketing Plane Tricks Origins, which is a video game we released whilst we're also developing Plane Tricks Online. So we're kind of busy is what I'm saying. We're kind of busy. Uh, Plane Tricks Origins has sold 150,000 units, still 150,000 units in stock, but it hasn't yet made a profit, which is definitely unfortunate. It's definitely not ideal that we haven't made a profit on Plane Tricks Origins, but it was a good game, and it is also very, very cheap, and uh, I do believe Plane Tricks Online might be more expensive. I don't know if it tells me, uh, but I think that it is a bit more expensive. I'm hoping it's a bit more expensive so we can actually make a bit more money from it. Uh, but we're certainly going to find out. We're certainly going to see if uh, if we end up making more money from playing tricks online. I certainly hope that we do. Uh, because it would be nice to make a good profit from uh, from a video game. Now let's see. We have Elmer. El Elmer? Elmer uh, has retired. Elmer was... A marketer. I've only had marketers retire thus far. That's interesting. Uh, let's hire a new one then. So, marketer. We'll go for all of the usual things. We'll begin looking and we'll see if we can get someone that is going to be uh, great for the team. And relatively highly skilled. So, uh, 72, 74% there and great. You will absolutely do. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the marketing family here at Nerdsoft Studios. Can you rename the company? That's something I'm curious about. I don't think you can rename the company, because I really should have put a studios on the uh, the end of the company name there, but that's fine. It's no big deal. Uh, so, are we currently still making shed loads of cash from deals? Yes, I do believe that we are. I'm pretty sure most of our income is... Uh, oh, wow, we're making like 1.6 million a month. Almost a million from deals. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's some considerable money. Another quarter of a million from Plane Tricks Origins there. Does Plane Tricks Origins have enough units left in stock? Uh, yeah, it looks like it does. It does look like it's never going to make a profit because we're spending so much marketing. But as long as people are using it and as long as people are like, hey, I can't wait for the next one, then we should be fine with Plane Tricks Online. So... Let's go ahead and get that uh, reviewed, get some outsourcing on that. I'd also like to get some reviews in for Nbox OS. So we can see what people generally think of that. Uh, we will cancel support for Nerdsoft Poly just there. Uh, Plain Tricks Origins is going to continue with support. And the reviews are coming in of both of these. Uh, Plain Tricks Online is currently at a 0.7. The art is terrible, which is beautiful news. Uh, and the code is also terrible, so something tells me that that is going to take a while. Uh, Nbox OS is currently sitting at a 6.6, .6, which is good news. The code is definitely coming together. People are liking the audio from the operating system, which is beautiful, beautiful news. I reckon it is going to be about 10 million lines of code before Nbox OS is considered good. As for playing tricks online, I'm not really sure. But what I'm going to do is have Dev A focus on Nbox whilst doing a little bit of work on Plane Tricks Online. Uh, we could definitely take Dev A off of the the Plane Tricks project, but I think considering Origins is making still making a quarter of a million every month, I think we're okay. Um, let's see. We are almost out of units for that. It is, st it's still selling, like, the same number of units every month. It's not really dropping that many active users. Uh, Wave 2 is at 6 million in profits with, uh, 316,000 units still left there. Is there anything we could currently sell? Is something I'm wondering? Because we could, we could definitely look into making something like, uh, the OS 7. We could make that. The previous ones did make considerable money. Uh, we could look into, I mean, we could, we could sell Door Shade. 
That's definitely a thing we could do. I mean, if we trade the IP, oh, you're not going to give me much for that. Never mind. Fair enough. Let's not worry about it. Uh, any hosting jobs? Yes, there are. I will take that one and I will take that one. Those hosting jobs are absolutely keeping the company afloat. It's, rid <laughs> it's ridiculous. It really is. It really is the most ridiculous thing. Uh, can we get another quick peer review of Nbox OS, please? Just to see what people are generally saying about it. Uh, over 400 views there. We are at a 6.8. Okay. Uh, I think it is just going to be about 10 million lines before I consider that finished. So, let's see. Uh, it's May 1994. So, we should have Wave 3 going out in two months' time. Which is actually kind of exciting, to be honest. I'm curious to see if Wave 3 is actually going to be a success, because Wave 2 did very, very well for us. Wave 2 sitting at 7 million in profits with uh, 219,000, uh, 231,000 active units, active units, active users. Um, and there's actually no copies of Plain Tricks Origins left in stock, so let's go ahead and order some copies. Let's order another 100 thousand copies. I'm also thinking that uh, I might open a digital distribution platform. That seems like it could be a good idea. So let's come down this way a little bit and uh, let's go ahead and get a new sort of block on here because I'd like to get some extra servers in there so I can get my digital distribution platform on the go. Uh, so we'll do a door there. We'll get ourselves I mean, we're going to need lighting, but I think it's probably best to put the servers in here first. So the first thing we'll do is this. And there we go. We have a distribution server, which is going to be interesting. So let's go to here, open the digital distribution platform. Or I, am I sure I want to open it? All digital copies of my products will be sold through your own platform and require capacity. Yes, we're going to use the distro server. And we'll see what happens. We'll see if people start buying my products digitally. That would be nice. It would, uh, oh, you know what we probably need? We probably need another cleaner. Uh, let's see if we can get, I mean, we have one cleaner that comes in at five and leaves at nine. Let's have you leave at, um, let's have you leave at midnight with the, the courier. Oh, not the, not midnight with the courier. Um, yeah, you leave at midnight with the dev team B is more what I meant. Uh, then this cleaner can come in and work at about that time, I think. So you can do some kind of midday cleaning. So that should be fine. Get another cleaner in here, make the place nice and uh, nice and lovely for everybody involved. And let's see, Plain Tricks Origins is hopefully going to go back up in sales. That would be nice. It'd be nice to make a little bit more money on that, especially with digital distribution. It is 1994, admittedly, but we'll see what happens. Uh, 194,000 is not bad. Let's have a look at digital. Uh, yeah, there's 18.25% um, I assume that's 18.25% of all of my sales are now digital. I assume that's what that means. Uh, also, 50 million pounds up there. Jesus. A uh, lot of units of Wave 2 sold there. We have Wave 3 going out this month, I assume. So that should be very interesting. I mean, it's being automatically handled, so one assumes that it'll go out as normal. Uh, let's get some reviews in of... Um, yeah, they just released Wave 3. They are now designing Wave number 4. Interesting. Interesting. Let's get some reviews of Plain Tricks Online as well, so I can see what people think of everything we're currently working on. So the operating system is at a 7.1. It is definitely getting there. And then Plain Tricks Online is at a 2.1. So yeah, everything we're working on is, is slowly, slowly getting there. Now I'm curious to see. We are on 49.7 million pounds. What is that going to go to? 51.2. Not bad. So, Wave 3. To wrap this up, Wave 3 is not worth the price. We don't expect it to sell. They should port it to modern operating system. Really? Really? Is that what we're doing here? 
Yeah, it didn't really sell at all. It's, um, it's better than the last one. Which is nice. It's just not doing very well. It's also more expensive. There's a lot of units in stock. Yeah, maybe we port that to modern operating systems and see what happens. So, let's see. Sort by release date. Put it on everything, everything there, I think. No, that's good. That's good. 2.9 million. Jesus. Uh, let's port it to all of those. So there we go. Hopefully porting it to all of those is going to uh, go ahead and help it sell a bit better. Not that we're losing money or anything, but it's it's still going to be nice if we can get that. Uh, let's do a bit of hosting just there to bring in a bit more cash. Let's look at digital. Uh, digital is up to 21.31%. Not bad at all. An employee is currently a bit stressed. I don't know that I care, to be honest. Uh, I don't know that that worries me all too much. So, uh, yeah, that employee can just remain a bit stressed. Stressful job you work in there, buddy. You are just going to have to deal with it, I'm afraid. Also, the place does seem a lot cleaner, which is nice. Definitely seems a lot cleaner. Also, seems like servers don't really break down anymore. Which is uh, certainly something. The Plane Tricks Origins is still making a shed load of cash. Uh, we have actually made a profit on Wave 3 since porting it to those operating systems. So I'm curious to see how that ends up doing. Um, we could actually end up making a profit on Plane Tricks Origins as well. It released, what, a year ago? Yeah, a year ago next month is when Plane Tricks Origins released. Uh, it's still got 377,000 active users. It's still at minus 1.1 million, but it's still making, like, roughly 200,000 pounds a month. So as long as we keep copies of that in stock, I think we're going to be fine. Okay, so while we're working on everything that we're working on, I'm kind of thinking that I'd like to expand the company again. I'd kind of like to get a team dedicated to making things like games. I think that might be a good idea. So what I'm thinking I do is I merge dev team A and dev team B into one team. So that dev team A is is a super large team. Uh, the only thing that's kind of put me off of that is the fact that uh, they would be split across two floors. I don't think that's necessarily ideal. So having the two teams kind of doing their own thing. I mean, Dev Team B, for example, is only working on Plane Tricks Online, where uh, Dev A is working on both tr Plane Tricks Online and uh, and Box OS. So, you know, I I don't like that they'd be split across two floors, but I kind of like the idea that we would have one giant team. And then what I could do is go ahead and expand you know, upwards again. I could basically clone this entire floor, which, to be honest, I'm kind of thinking would probably be the easiest way to get another floor on here. I mean, if I just go and say, hey, let's clone this floor and go upstairs with it and uh, just throw the floor like that. Now, interestingly, that balcony is now floating. Huh. Okay. Was not aware that that was a thing. Did that copy the room labels? Uh, no. That's good. Okay, so... What I'm thinking we do is we merge these three rooms here into one. That can be one room, and then I'd like to select every uh, item of furniture in this room and just delete it. Uh, the same is going to go with these doors here. And this can probably be something like a common room, or maybe another canteen small kitchen could go up here. I don't know, but we could do something up this way that I think could be kind of... Uh, kind of interesting. We'll see what we do. I'm also thinking that this is not going to be a meeting room anymore. It's going to be something else since it's, you know, upstairs. We already have a meeting room. Uh, we have this room here, which is totally fine. Everything else is totally fine. Uh, and I just like the idea that we would have maybe another, uh, Ooh, I just locked me cat. Okay. I want to close. No. Uh, how did I? Oh, so Z locks you to a uh, top down. Okay. I did not know that. Uh, basically, as I was saying, uh, my thinking is that we we go for a uh, a dedicated team that makes games. And what's more is I could technically have that team working on a, a sort of project management scheme so that they are just going to automatically do the game dev stuff. 
So, this room here, I don't know what it would be. This might just sort of be like a generic application team or something. I could have them making stuff like Wave and stuff like uh, audio and uh, and 2D editors and all that stuff. They could make that. Uh, this room, no idea what it'll be. This might actually be a kitchen and this could be like a big canteen or something. I don't know. Or maybe this will be the kitchen, that'll be the can. I, again, don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I just like this idea. I think it'll work. So this is going to be uh, for a new team. We'll go into manage teams. We'll say that this is going to be uh, dev. I guess dev C. I'm just going to lock dev, dev C to uh, games. Or we, should, we probably should just rename them. Um, game dev. Devs. There we go. So game devs. Then we need another team, which is going to be uh, applications or app devs that's probably fine uh dev a i think i'm just gonna keep and dev b i'm gonna keep because dev a is gonna be working on stuff like operating systems dev b i think can sort of be a team that we just throw at a project to make that project go a bit quicker that's kind of my thinking for dev b so dev b if anything can probably just come in at uh at eight as well so dev B is going to come in at 8, and it's going to finish at 4, the same as everybody else. Which means I'm going to need to change my staff up a little bit, so that the couriers are going to... The couriers come in at a really awkward time. They can come in about 6, I think. Same with this, uh... That's 10pm. No, the latest you need to be here is like 5. No, maybe, maybe 6. Then, uh, same with you. So all six like that. So that should be fine. That'll work, I reckon. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I want to get the apps devs. I want to get the game devs. And I want to start, you know, having people dedicated to certain projects. I think that's going to be a good idea. So let's go ahead and uh, hire a bunch of people. I really, I realize I probably should have kept the offices so that these two teams can have team leaders. Although I guess I still could keep the offices if I got these two and I say that I want to clone them. Uh, so clone those two offices and throw them like there, basically. That might work. We'll see. We'll see what we do here. I'll figure something out. Alrighty, the game devs exist. We have a game development team up here working currently on playing tricks online. Hold on a minute. Who are you? You are Dev B. Why are you working in there? Why is... Oh, dev B plus one. Who's allowed to work in there? Hold on a minute. Who's allowed in this room? Limit room usage. Not limit room usage at all. Uh, switch team. Dev A should not be in there. And dev A should not be in there. And dev A should most certainly not be in there either. And then dev A is supposed to be all down there. So who's, why is, why is Dev B up here at all? That seems really, really, hold on a minute, who are all of you then? Hold on, what? So Dev A has 36, why does Dev, hold on a minute. Dev A is supposed to have 36 people? Yeah. Did I make a goof somewhere? I feel like I might have. I feel like I've me I've messed something up somewhere and I'm not quite sure where that happens to be. Because you should all have desks, right? You are... I there's, right, there's, what, 24? Hold on. Idle employees, 24 of them. On, like, every team. That's really strange. I want to see how many are idle when they come in tomorrow. Because that's going to be quite telling. So, everybody comes in. Now you're in quite early, that's fine. And immediately we're up to like 20 of them idle. I have a lot of... I have a lot of people in Dev Team A. I want... Did I intention? I mean, they're all 100% skill for the artists, 100% skill in the designers. 
100% of programmers. So I feel like this is intentional. I feel like I'm forgetting I did something here. But I can't help but feel that Dev Team A is maybe bigger than I thought it was. Man, I'm 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 weird. I'm weirded out by this. I'm not. Oh, you know what it is? I'm an idiot. Uh, Dev Team A was supposed to use these studios here because Dev Team B weren't supposed to be in until the evenings. That's what it was. Uh, Dev Team B is not supposed to come in until the evenings because they were supposed to be that secondary team. Uh, so Dev Team B, you don't come in until 5 p.m. I knew I forgot something. That's fine. So it was 5 until midnight, I do believe. Okay, uh, do 5 until 11 p.m. That's not very long, but that's fine. Uh, that should fix most of the problems, I do believe. God, I'm an idiot sometimes. Seriously, seriously an idiot sometimes. Uh, that should fix most of the problems, though, if I'm not mistaken. We'll find out when everybody uh, heads off home. Man, sometimes, sometimes my brain's just like, you know what? You're going to be an idiot today. Uh, it's, uh, it's true. My brain's just a bit of a dum-dum sometimes. Uh, but we'll see. We're going to see what happens here. Everybody headed off home. Everybody's coming in. Is anyone idle? Yes. Why are 15 of my employees idle? Designers are idle. That makes sense. Game dev, yes. That that makes sense. Okay. The designers aren't doing anything, which is what they're supposed to be. So that that's totally fine. Uh, Plane Tricks Online, can I get a review of that, please, as well as Nbox OS? I want to see what people think of those. Uh, so hopefully we can release one of them. That would be nice. We're going to find out. Plane Tricks Online is up to a 3.5. Not amazing, but that's all right. Nbox OS is up to a 7.9. That's probably close to a point where we could get that out there to the people. So we'll see how that goes. How are we looking for Wave 3? Wave 3. 4 million pounds in profit. Not bad. Plane Tricks Origins is probably never going to make a profit at this point. There's 22,000 units of that in stock. How's digital distribution going? Uh, we're up to 24.27 there. That's not bad. Uh, we have a couple of hosting jobs that we can absolutely take. Put that in the hosting server. Uh, put this on the hosting server as well. I'm actually slightly concerned that I might have some jobs on the dev server that shouldn't be there. Yeah, this one. Uh, so that needs to be redelegated to hosting. That's fine. Distro is currently only dealing with 1.2 gigabytes per second. That's fine. Uh, the hosting server is actually fine as well. A 5.81 load. The, ho the load from the dev server is almost worse. Admittedly, the dev server is a lot smaller than the hosting server. But yeah, that's, that's certainly nothing to complain about right there. Certainly nothing to complain about whatsoever. Uh, so... Now that the game devs and the B team are working on Plane Tricks Online, hopefully we can get that to a reasonable degree of quality. I do sincerely hope we can get it to a reasonable, deg reasonable degree of quality, because if we can't, then I'm not going to be too pleased. Who are you? You're the game, you're the game devs any... Oh, I didn't set you to leader, did I? All right, buddy, I do apologize. <laughs> I may have forgotten to set uh, Marlon Holt to be the game dev's leader. Uh, so Marlon, if you wouldn't mind, mate, you are supposed to be the leader of the game devs. So there we go. We'll get that done. We should probably also hire a couple more cooks. So get two of those. Have them both come in at, uh, at noon. There we go. And uh, you, that guy should be off to his office soon enough. Now, there we go. A little bit of a meeting going on there. Not bad. Not bad at all. I still stand by. It is probably going to be about 10 million lines of code needed to... Act oh, hold on a minute. Who are you? You are a dev B programmer. And you are also a dev B programmer. Why are you both in there? Why does it... Why is dev team B... 
Why does Dev Team B have programmers that aren't using computers down here? That's really, really strange. I mean, they're working. They're just... That, yeah, that's that's weird. Uh, more deals. That's development. Not interested. Plane Tricks Origins doesn't meet the demand. And as a result, I'm losing physical sales. Uh, Plane Tricks Origins isn't gonna, though. Admittedly, it has sold over half a million units, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, let's try porting it. No, there's nothing to port it to. That's fine. Uh, let's order some copies then, I guess. Let's order 50,000 copies, because I can't imagine we're going to need more than that. Let me look at wave three. I did port this, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Um, oh, I did, actually. I did port it. These are slightly more recent operating systems with no active users at the moment. That said... I reckon I will port it to them anyway. Because I can. Because I'm like that. So yeah, that's uh that's the kind of business I'm gonna run. Just gonna just gonna port things because I can. Uh Plane Tricks Origins down below fifty thousand pounds per month. I really do think we're getting to the point where that can probably be we can probably stop the marketing on that. As for online, I would like to get more reviews of that in. What are you guys doing? I really don't get why they're sitting in this room here. Uh, this is up to 3.5. It's still not amazing. Which is really concerning. Because there's a lot of lines of code in there and it's going very, very slowly. I would like it to be amazing. Just doesn't seem like it's going to be. Also, September 1996 for Wave 4. So they're definitely sitting on that one for a lot longer. Can't say I'm complaining about that at all, though. That's going to be a useful thing, I reckon. Hopefully, Wave 4 ends up being amazing. Is Nbox OS up to an 8 out of 10? Because if it is, I think I might push that into beta. Let's have a look. Is it at, at uh, yeah, 8.3. That said, I reckon, I honestly do reckon if I wait for the 10 million lines of code, I reckon we could get it to about a 9 or a 10 out of 10. So I'm just going to be patient. 8.5 out of 10. That's the current score of Nbox OS. And honestly, honestly, I think that's okay. We're going to push it into beta. It's going to stay in beta for a while, but I feel confident having an 8.5 out of 10. I think that's actually the highest score we've had on anything thus far. So I'm excited. I'm curious. I'm interested to see how it goes. In fact, we are going to put everybody on this. We're going to get the game devs working on this as well, just so we can have all of the bugs taken out of it as quickly as possible. And I do mean all of them. I absolutely want to... Uh, See if we can, uh, you know, get some good stuff going here with Nbox OS. I want to see if we can get as many bugs out of it as is humanly possible. We have some deals here. That's just marketing. Not too interested in that. Employees are currently stressed. Uh, a lot of complaints there. Let's just close all of those. Uh, wave 3, 8 million. It's actually made more than Wave 2. Uh, Plane Tricks Origins is still selling units, but it's costing me more to market it and produce those units than it's costing to, uh, than, it, than it's bringing in. So I'm very tempted to end the marketing cycle on that and just let it sell out. Or just have it sort of be a digital only thing, because technically, I mean, technically I can do that, right? I could print my own copies, actually. That's not a terrible idea. I think we'll do that. We'll just print copies of Plane Tricks Origins and see what happens. That way that we're not going to... That that way we're not going to uh, lose money, basically. We'll have new copies going out. We're just not... Uh, we're not going to be spending money on uh, on getting those copies. So that seems, that seems like a good idea to me. Hopefully that'll work out. As for Nbox OS, I think I am... Gonna well, do I want to do I want to announce a release date? I really don't know. I do want to have a look at the reviews for Plane Tricks Online, though. I'm curious to see what people have to say about that currently. Uh, it's at a 3.8. It's not very good, is it? It's not very good at all. Uh, let's get another project management scheme going. 
let's get uh, the plane tricks scheme going. And let's have uh, Marlin Holt doing that one. The design team is going to be game devs. And the development team is going to be game devs. In fact, you know what? The design team can be dev A. Development is going to be game devs. Secondary dev is dev B. Support teams are customer support. Marketing's marketing. SCM is going to be dev. The server is hosting. Development time is going to be 250%. We're going to hype it. Auto develop only sequels. Only create sequels to past projects rather than creating new IP. That could work. If I turn both of those off, then... No, let's let's just do sequels. This is just going to be a bit of project management that's going to take over the development of Plane Tricks once I release Plane Tricks online. So in theory, what I'm doing is I'm automating the development completely to the point where I will never have to look at Plane Tricks again because we're going to have them automatically being pumped out by the company. We will order 500,000 units for launch. In fact, let's just order a million units for launch, assuming that works. Uh, if we look at options, I mean, there's nothing else I need to change in there, so we're just going to get a million. We're going to handle marketing with that as well. So that should be interesting. I mean, they're not going to be working on anything yet, because I didn't actually give them anything to work on initially. I haven't assigned them to anything. Uh, so they're just going to sit there with the uh, Plane Tricks project. Uh, now, wave four. Is it done? I wonder if it's actually done. I've got no idea. It's currently in alpha, 1,540 followers. I could take over the development of that if I wanted to. I don't think I'm too interested in doing that. No, oh, we've got five deals done here. Uh, let's take the hosting deal. Just like so. Let's take that hosting deal. And let's take these ones as well. Just so I can make all of the money. Currently sitting in 73 million pounds. Certainly can't complain about that. Um, I'm also thinking that I might actually go ahead and just release Plane Tricks online. Because it would be nice to pass off Plane Tricks to the project management thing. I just have a feeling that might be a good idea. I don't know. Uh, let's get another review of this done. I'm also wanting to see when the next uh, operating system... That's a phone operating system coming out there. Interesting. We've got a bit of, like, web publishing CMS coming out there. We really should. We really are behind. I really feel like we're behind a little bit. Because it would have been nice to managed to get a, uh, a phone operating system out first. I feel like I have missed a lot of tricks here. Granted, like I've said a couple of times through this series, this is like my first time uh, back in Software Inc. in quite some time, so you'll have to forgive me. Uh, that's all been researched. That's all been researched. That hasn't. We haven't got auto-tune yet. So let me research auto-tune. Let me give that to just everybody. Let me look at game engine. That has been researched. Visual scripting. We didn't actually we don't actually have that in anything that we have at the moment, do we? So that'll be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Looks like auto-tune is gonna go relatively quickly. Also looks like Plane Tricks Origins is still selling. Still making a slight profit, I think. Uh there's currently a lot of copies of that in stock as well so maybe we should go to distribution and maybe we cancel the uh the production of of plain tricks origins because i think i think i think it's coming to a halt and i kind of hope it's coming to a halt to be honest because if it isn't then jesus it's it's been going for a while it's a pretty old game I'm hoping that it'll be done uh we actually have a review of plain tricks online there it was at a 3.7 yeah i think honestly I'm going to I'm going to push that into beta. Because at this point it's taking so long that we might as well and then we'll just hand it off to be automatically produced through project management which should make it better than I ever would. 
Uh, it also means I don't have to think about it. It means I can, like, work on other projects. It means I can work on, like, a good game engine. It means I can, uh, speaking of which, hold on, if I go to here, uh, use own licenses where possible. That's for sure. Same with Wave. I think, yeah, Wave is set to use their own licenses as well, which is perfect. But yeah, I can work on different things. Like, I can work on, you know, a phone operating system, for example, if I wanted to. If we go to phone, I can get, uh, what can we get in here? Very, very basic phone operating systems. In fact, that would take less than a year to make that. That's tempting. That is very tempting. Um, I would like to make Nbox... Yeah, Nbox... Uh, mobile. I think. I think Nbox mobile could be interesting, because it's going to take less than a year. If we just make it really good, then that should be fine. We'll set it as sort of like a... We'll set it to be quite cheap. We'll make it like £75. It is an original IP. Yeah, there's nothing it can follow up. It's going to be on the dev server. Yeah, I think that's totally fine. We're going to give that to uh, dev A and dev B. Nbox Mobile. Yeah, no, I, I think that's... I think that's probably fine. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Give that to uh, those guys and develop. So, Nbox Mobile is probably not going to take long to go through the design phase. So, we'll promote it when it gets to outstanding. And then, we're going to make sure that uh, Nbox OS is the priority, which it still is. So, that's good. Let's start... Mar let's, let's go to market here. I want to say that... Jul uh, July... 1996 might be the no August August 1996 is gonna be the release date of Nbox OS we are gonna put out a press release we are gonna put out a press build and we are gonna hype it that's the plan here uh wave I'm gonna minimize plane tricks I'm gonna minimize and plane tricks here I'm gonna minimize as well we'll also re minimize that for a second actually let's minimize that for the time being so I can see everything in this list I'm actually kind of excited to see just what exactly Nbox ends up doing because I have a feeling what's going to happen is it's going to be pretty good quality but buggy I think that's going to be the general complaint but I'm hoping that something that we've spent so long on I mean it's coming out in August of 1996 we started work on it in February of 1990 so we have been sitting on... Oh, wow. There's 109,000 followers there. That's a lot of people. Wow. Okay, people are... People are feeling this. People are... People are keen for this. Uh, let's get some marketing going on that. Let's get another press release out to the people. Let's... Send them another press build. Good lord, this is uh, certainly something. And the marketing and playing tricks origins. Because I want to focus on Nbox OS at this point. That's that's me plan. Okay, it's July 1996. 92 employees just went on vacation. We have a lot of people that are not interested in following Nbox anymore, but I reckon we're gonna be okay. Uh we have the courier pulling in there, that's probably fine. Let's start printing copies of Nbox OS. Because it means we'll have 72,000 copies to begin with. I think that's probably a, a fair thing to do. Is, you know, try and get a decent... A decent number of, uh, of copies out to the people to begin with. Uh, as for playing tricks online, I mean, I'm not too interested in that. I do realize that Wave is releasing in September of 96, just after Nbox OS. So I'm very curious to see... How that ends up going. We're currently sitting on 80 million pounds. We are still making some decent money. Which is certainly nice to see. We have a couple of people in doing some work at the moment. Which is also nice to see. It is not, it's not August of 1996 though. So. Let's release Nbox OS. We'll put it out to the people. We are going to start marketing it. With an un unlimited budget, we are going to give it a million copies. So, 1.2 million pounds is being spent 
to print copies of Nbox OS, Plane Tricks Origins doesn't seem to need support anymore, which is nice. Uh, so let's cancel support on that. That did actually annoy quite a few people, but that's fine. Uh, Wave 2 releases next month. Nbox OS is in the hands of the people. Is it going to make money? That's the big question here. I certainly hope it does. Uh, let's have a look at Nbox Mobile and see what people think of that currently. Very curious to see what the thoughts are on Nbox Mobile. It's at a 4.5 already. Not bad. The code is pretty bad, but uh, yeah, I reckon if we sit on Nbox Mobile for a while, we'll be okay. Now, here's the question. Nbox OS, we spent 27.9 thousand pounds marketing it. We have a million copies that can be sold here. How much money is Nbox OS going to make? It's going to make a grand total of 3.5 million pounds. That is the highest amount of money anything we've had has made thus far, and that is sparse marketing. Nbox OS is looking okay for the price. We don't expect it to sell. Uh, we need to build a fan base in this market. That's fair. That is very fair. And apparently we need to up the marketing game. Now, what I'm going to say to that is that we are about to up the marketing game. I certainly hope we're going to up the marketing game. I do reckon we probably need a bigger team of marketers, but here's hoping we'll be okay. Wave 4 is going to release in a moment, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, when is Wave 4 actually going to go out to the people? September 1996. It is 19- it's September 1996. Where- what- 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 the, there we go. Wave 4 has not gone out to the people. So, uh, we only... Wow, that must have cost a lot of money to make. That was uh, 100 pounds. It sold 49,000 units. Yeah, that's that's not... That's not as much of a profit as I'd like, but I'd assume that with higher marketing, it's going to make a bit more. So, 3.5 million in month one. It is going to make, in month two, a grand total of 616,000 pounds. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, wave 4 might be worth the price. Probably not going to move many copies. Uh, there's no one to buy it. Hopefully, they port it. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so, Wave 4 actually did immediately go in with a 1.9 million pound profit, which is not bad. I feel like the marketing's not helping. I also feel like Wave 4 does need to be ported. Uh, so, sort by this and port it to everything back to frame OS. There we go. That should be fine. I do feel like we need a bigger marketing team, really. So, this room up here is gonna have its styles unified. That needs to not be blue, though, on the outside. So, room colors, exterior... Uh, white, then the room construction material on the exterior is going to be that. Then I'd like this to be for marketing, specifically, which might cause a few of my employees to wind up idle, possibly, because they can't go into that room anymore. Let's see, those are artists that are idle. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, though. So that should be fine. We have a bunch of idle artists. Let's get ourselves, uh, what, four... Eight, ten new marketers. Hire employees, marketer, highest skill that we can get and all that stuff. Uh, we want to go for marketing team. I could, I could get a second marketing team. That is definitely an option, but I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to hire all the greats and all the goods and uh, go from there and just train them up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not too worried about the ages or the skills because we can train them up, so it should be totally fine. Okay, so Nbox OS came back up to about a million pounds. That's not bad. Wave 4 has already made 5.8 million, though. It has more active users than Nbox OS. Nbox OS, might I add, is great, technically. Uh, so it seems like the marketing is... Is, is slightly letting us down here. 
which is a bit worrying. So, yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is definitely get those new marketers in. They're actually off getting trained at the moment, so we should be okay. We're still printing copies of Nbox OS, aren't we? Uh, I'm pretty sure we're printing copies of Wave 4. I know that. Uh, so we'll print copies of Wave 4. Can we also print copies of Nbox OS? Yes, we can. So we're not going to need to order too many of those in. Uh, we never wind up making a profit on Plane Tricks Origins. That's fine. Wave 3 made 10 million pounds. That was since July 1994. And uh, since September 1996, it's not November 1996, we've made 5.8 million on Wave 4. So... Yeah, it seems like uh, it seems that the Wave software has done a very good job. We're still porting it to a couple of operating systems there. I'm thinking uh, Plane Tricks, we're going to mark it. We're going to say it's going to release in February of 97. We're going to say that uh, we're going to put out some press releases. Uh, we can hype it. And we'll hope for the best with that. That's basically the plan here. I would quite like to have Plane Tricks Online do very well, but I have my doubts that it will do very well at all. So let's release that. There's a couple of people interested. Hype is building a little bit as well. Uh, Nbox OS with a one million pound profit. Please tell me that's going to increase. I sincerely hope that's going to increase. One million is going to go to 500,000. Yeah, so it seems like Nbox OS... It sold well. I mean, it did make a profit, but I mean, look at Wave 4. It's got 154,000 active users. Uh, Plane Tricks Origins still has 572,000 active users. Like, three... Over three years past launch. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. So, certainly can't complain about that. Uh, we have, yeah, February 1997 is when... Plane Tricks Online is going to release. I think, honestly, I'm not too interested in heavily marketing that. I think what I'll do is just let it go whatever way it goes. And then I am just going to... I am just going to hand off the, the Plane Tricks franchise to the game dev team to have a bit of uh, project management there. That, that seems like the way to do things. Uh, I also think I want to maybe look into some more hosting jobs here. So let's just take all of those because they make silly, silly money. There we go. So that should be totally fine right there. It's now January of 1997. Plane Tricks Online is releasing next month. Let's do a final bit of marketing with uh, a press release just like so. And uh, maybe we will send out a press build as well. Even though that's a little bit risky. Uh, just because... Just, just because, you know, if they, they get their hands on it and think it's a bit of crap, then uh, they are going to say so, but hopefully they won't think it's too bad. Um, now, we have a lot of people here who are not doing anything. Artists and designers across both teams don't seem to be doing much. Customer support, you're not doing much. Where are you? You are... Where is this person that's not doing anything? You're there. Why are you not doing anything? Or did you are you just going home? Yeah, you're at home, idle, that's fine. Uh, there are a lot of people just not doing anything then. So the game dev artists and designers have nothing to do. I assume that's because they are pretty much working on nothing at the moment. So let's give the game devs stuff to do there. Uh, but yeah, artists, they might be done with Nbox Mobile. Kind of difficult to know, really. Kind of difficult to know. Either way, either way, very soon it's going to be ticking over into February, which means that Plane Tricks Online has to go out to the people. I'm curious to see what it's going to do. Curious to see if it's going to be any good. Hopefully it will be. But I'm not really holding my breath. Nbox OS is down to 200,000. Jesus, that's that's grim. That's, that's just grim, man. I'm not happy about that. Uh, either way... Let's go ahead and release Plane Tricks Online. Give it an unlimited marketing budget. Uh, we will print copies. We'll print like 250,000 copies just there. Because we might as well. Uh, more marketers are in, which means that marketing should go nice and quickly these days. Which means we should have... Uh, we should have better marketing on Nbox OS. Nbox OS is still... 
sparse in terms of marketing. Hopefully we can bring that up. 14 million on wave four thus far. Playing tricks online is minus 1.6 million. I think that is going to be a loss. I don't think playing tricks is going to make money back. Uh, but what we can do is we can finally go to develop software. We can finally say we want to make some games. Do we want to make... I guess we do. I guess another sports game is going to be fine. So it's going to be a follow-up to Plane Tricks. I'm going to say Plane Tricks Online is going to be, it's going to be a follow-up to that. And it is going to just be... Uh, Plane Tricks... No, let's, let's completely change it up. Let's just change it to, uh, Air Tricks. Or <laughs> Air Tricks. Or Air Stunts or something like that. Just to Air Tricks. Air Tricks is what we're going to go for. Uh, we're going to give it advanced cutscenes, mocap, physics, open world, all of that stuff. It is going to run on PolySculpt, apparently, which is bad. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, it is going to use... What's the most recent release here? This one, which is great. Cinema Stop 2, that's fine. And the audio tool is obviously going to be Wave 4. So there we go. This can be good, which is fine. Uh, Air Tricks is going to be priced at about thirty pounds, which is also fine. I kind of miss the. I kind of miss Plane Tricks though. I kind of. I kind of. I'm attached to that at this point. Uh, this is just going to be Plane Tricks. Oh man, what are we going to call it? Plane Tricks Ultima. Because why not? And then we'll have Plane Tricks Ultima Two, and so on. Uh, so this is like the first one that's. You know, open. Plane Tricks World! That's the perfect one. Plane Tricks World. It's a multiplayer open world Plane Tricks game. That's perfect. Uh, project management. Oh, we need operating systems? Well, duh. Uh, annoying that we can't put this on... We can't put this on Nbox OS for some reason. I will probably want to uh, do something about that. But let's just put it on all of those for the time being. That should be fine. 3.5 million potential consumers. That's fine. Uh, give it to the Plane Tricks Project. And we should see the Plane Tricks Project. Yeah, they're not designing Plane Tricks World. They're going to take some time with that. That's okay. Uh, Plane Tricks Online. We spent 87,000 pounds marketing that in its first month. Is it going to make money? That's me real question here. The answer is yes, actually, 872,000 pounds. Not bad. That's actually kind of surprising. Uh, Plane Tricks Online is a sequel to Plane Tricks Origins. Nerdrasoft is ready with Plane Tricks Online, and I bet fans are excited to see what's in store. The reputation of Nerdrasoft precedes them, but nobody knows them in the gaming market. Plane Tricks Online feels kind of meh. We can't even imagine how complicated this must be behind the scenes, but it runs decently. It's packed full of art, and it's okay, I guess. There were some glitches, It'll be interesting to see whether or not it can compare to Plane Tricks Origins by Nerdrasoft. There's really no market for this product right now. They'll need to port it. In conclusion, Plane Tricks Online is looking okay for the price. It's probably not going to move many copies. Maybe if they market it some more and we need to uh, we need to port it as well. So yeah, let's get Plane Tricks Online ported to pretty much everything would be ideal. Uh, yeah, next slide with 3.4 million users. Probably worth porting it to that one. That's that's probably a good idea right there, getting it onto the operating system with 3.4 million potential customers. And I guess... I guess we're doing all right. I mean, we're on 108 million pounds currently. Wave 4 is still selling ridiculous amounts of units. Um... Nbox OS is doing all right. Could be doing better, but it'll be fine. We'll make another one eventually. Uh, I'm curious to see if Plane Tricks Online is actually going to make a profit. I'm really curious to see if Plane Tricks Online makes a profit, because if it does, then that's kind of huge. Like, it's not a very good game, but yeah, that would be uh, that'd be very interesting. I'm very, very curious here. Let's uh, find out, I suppose. Plane Tricks Online in its second month, having been ported to a system with 3.5 million. Yeah, actually 893. That actually does bring it up to close to a profit. So that is probably going to make a profit. That's actually really good news. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very, very happy about that. Okay, well, ladies and gents, I reckon I am going to leave it there for today. 
I have a feeling we're spending silly amounts of money marketing Nbox OS, considering it's... I mean, it's doing all right, but it's not making that much. But, uh, yeah, that's actually really nice. Currently designing Plane Tricks World. We are developing Wave 5 for release in December of 1998. And Nbox Mobile, we'll get a quick review in of that and see what people think of it before we send it out to the world. Nbox Mobile is currently sitting at a nice 6.8 out of 10. Not bad. I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to actually sit on Nbox Mobile until it is at about a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Just so we can uh, really, really capture the mobile market. Because I think what I might end up doing is uh, I'll keep my big focus in gaming for the 90s the way I have been doing. Admittedly, there's only three and a half years left of the 90s. Uh, then I think around 2005 in-game, I'd really like to make a push for the mobile market. So I'm going to try and make some really solid mobile operating systems and then just make a bunch of apps for that system. So I'll need to make a, a game engine that runs on that. I'll need to make editors that run on that. I'll need to make everything that can run on my own operating system. Uh, but I think that might be okay. I'm also curious to see very quickly, can I make something that runs on... Like, if I go and say 2D editor, can I say that I want it to run on most recent release? No. I was really hoping it would let me develop something for Nbox Mobile. But it doesn't seem like it's gonna. Which is definitely unfortunate. Yeah, so I can only do a 2D editor for that. What if I said, like, Game Engine, for example, and I was like, hey, can I develop this for Nbox Mobile? I totally can, and it's not even out yet. Interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, I'm going to keep that in mind. Either way, ladies and gents... I'm going to leave it there for today. So thank you, Kenneth, for watching. This has been Software Inc. Alpha 9, and I will see you next time. Bye bye